totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> that was an excellent summary of this incredible night of October the 10th into the 11th, 2024. An historically huge solar storm hit the Earth, creating a good chance to witness an incredible show of Aurora Borealis. Of course, the Netherlands was forecasted to be clouded over, but we tried anyway. Here is our story. Good evening, welcome back to the channel. We are uh, with Martijn and with Frank. We just drove one and a half hours. We had no idea where we went, uh, but hey, we went uh, to this windmill and maybe through the clouds which have now arrived, you can see a little bit of green, a little bit of purple, yellow, yellow, no, no yellow, but you <laughs> see Aurora Borealis. Uh, we have a huge solar storm tonight. Uh, it has the potential to uh, get as big as a G4 storm. And uh, yeah, we have terrible weather in the Netherlands, but hey, if we will have any chance of uh, shooting it, we thought, hey, let's go to the northeast of the country and uh, see what happens. And we already got some first shots of this windmill. No idea about the composition, but we saw windmill, color, super Dutch. So uh, let's enjoy the night and let's see what happens. <laughs> Only minutes after arriving we get clouded over again. Still, the first shots were in the can and we didn't come out entirely for nothing. However, with such a huge event we hoped for a bit more, of course. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm even in the frame or if I'm even focused. Um, I've switched my uh, camera gear setup for tonight a little bit and that's because uh, my normal uh, photo camera is astro modified and in the past I've had some difficulties um, color balancing Aurora shots with an astro modified camera. Also some bending issues which I really didn't like. So right now I'm filming with my uh, older Sony S1 camera and uh, making photos now shooting a little time lapse uh, with the uh, Sony ZV-E1 which I uh, normally use to film with. Um, but all is going well. Um, yeah, the weather is still not really good, but uh, yeah, we definitely see some green between the breaks in the clouds. Uh, at the moment I'm shooting a reflection shot, a, a vertical re uh, reflection shot of the windmill. Um, I've had to make some compromises on the composition because uh, to get a full reflection of the windmill I've had to do one or two little steps to the left. But then I get a more modern windmill there protruding um, the, the wings. The, the blades, <laughs> it is called, of the older windmill. But uh, hey, I'm not complaining here. Uh, the aurora itself seems to be dying down just a bit, but uh, yeah, that can change uh, very fast. So uh, I'll uh, turn off my light here and let's enjoy the rest of the night. Further chaos, but good chaos. At this point it started to rain. We sheltered in the car and considered what we should do. And then this happened. So while we were considering in the car where we should go, we noticed that there was a little, little gap there. And we stepped out of the car and we saw the red aurora with our naked eye. It's a little gap, but imagine what we would see if that clouds would go away. Unfortunately, yeah, almost the entire Netherlands is in clouds, so I think the rest of the night we'll have to do with these little uh, snippets. <laughs> bizarre. Still bizarre. Yep, we get pillars. <laughs> it's only just a little bit. Let me shift the pillars in the sky. And we have rain in the meantime also. <laughs> Challenging conditions. <laughs> We're not made of sugar, <laughs> as we say in the Netherlands. Maybe your cameras are, but wow! We're seeing it this with the naked eye, the colors. <gasps> I've never seen it so bright red. Seriously. Whoa, whoa. We 
we can see it is exploding there behind the clouds but there are so many clouds it's almost invisible now but if those clouds show some little gaps sky on fire indeed oh this is exciting please give us some gaps well, these gaps didn't seem to be happening anytime soon. Frank had to work tomorrow and decided to go home. And by now, you know what happens when Frank goes home. Frank, by the way, he uh, already left. He has to uh, work tomorrow. I'm doing some uh, old school lighting here with my, uh, <laughs> with my head torch. Just a little bit, uh, not to disturb. Martijn, who is, who is uh, still shooting, it's now, I think, about two and a half, three hours uh, since we arrived here. And uh, yeah, we have been shooting and waiting and uh, getting wet from the rain. And uh, yeah, sometimes we have some gaps uh, like we have now, but unfortunately right at the moment, the Aurora isn't that strong. Um, we did see uh, super bright red colors with our naked eye, which was extremely cool. Uh, but yeah, right now, as you can see there, we have some little patches. Uh, there's still a lot of green in the sky. But uh, yeah, we need some pillars now. <laughs> Okay, right now uh, we are seeing the highest aurora values of the whole evening. The BZ has gone to minus 46, the density has bumped a lot, the BT has bumped a lot, so it should be arriving at Earth about now. Here above the uh, modern windmill we can start to see some pillars, unfortunately that's not in my composition. Um, I think I'll stick to my composition because I like it. It's a bit daring because I'm shooting here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, no, you can't, but I'm shooting it vertically here to the windmill. Uh, and I'm only using about the half sky, but there's a nice leading line here on the ground. I'm not sure if it shows up on video. This sort of curve leading into the windmill. And yeah, let's see what happens. Martijn's saying there's pillars, there's pillars. Green pillars. There's also definitely still red pillars. Yeah, but green pillars low on the horizon. Low on the horizon, green pillars, Martijn say. Yep, I think I see them. Oh, this is exciting stuff. <laughs> so this might be the grand finale. Uh, I think behind me you can see the uh, red pillars uh, getting stronger and stronger. It's still not in my composition, so I'm taking a bit of a risk. They are uh, yeah, beside the uh, modern windmill. Uh, I think they are in Martijn's composition, are they in uh, yours? Martijn's busy. <laughs> are, uh, are the arcs, uh, the, the pillars in your shot? Not yet, so uh, maybe we'll have to shift composition, but starting to get naked eye visibility here again okay this vlog will be all all over the place my second tripod is behind the fence which i can't go out because my tripods my other tripods is set up wow i can't talk anymore uh, it's always the same <laughs> with these aurora shows we'll get on i'll try to film some b-roll uh, maybe i'll switch my composition and enjoy this spectacular <laughs> I would say once in a lifetime event, but lately it's getting really mad. And all of a sudden, there it was. Boom! Of course I forgot to turn on my microphone exactly at the climax of the night. But you know what? Sometimes a picture says more than a thousand words. In this case, maybe even two thousand. Here I was probably telling you how amazing, incredible, unbelievable and, well, you got the point.
batteries are uh, dying of the microphone, so I think we'll have to shut down. Maybe we'll be here some more tonight. I have no idea how my shots turn out, but the last ones uh, we've made Verteramas, uh, Panorama, single oh, shots, and what we saw with the naked eye, I have never seen before. Maybe I'll never see it again. I know I say that more often on the <laughs> channel than I shoot, but uh, what do you think, Martijn? <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. We waited all the night. Uh, we, we had some clear patches, but now we already have a clear patch for 20 minutes and it's going totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so while, we, so while we go on uh, being totally lost, sorry if the vlog has been all over the place, but hey, this just happens with these things. If our shots turn out to be any good, which I'm sure they will, here are the shots. And uh, for now, I thank you guys again for watching, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.